to this point, we've been factoring trinomials into its two binomial factors. And we haven't had a number in front of our x squared, except for one, and we've been using the x method, which works beautifully. However, as soon as we put a number in front of our x squared, it introduces a number in front of our x's that multiplies all through our equation and messes up all of our factors. The x no longer works. And so the traditional way is to say we're going to do guess and check. We know we're looking for binomial factors. So we look at the first term and we say, well, we know we have two things right here that multiply together to get 6x squared. So our choices are 2x times 3x or 6x times 1x. We're not sure which one it is. All right, we also know that this last term are the two factors that multiply here. So let me see, we could do 2 times 3, but because of these numbers here, 3 times 2 will also give us another answer. Or we could do 1 times 6 or 6 times 1. Well, to do a guess and check, you literally guess and then check. If it doesn't work, you guess again and you check. We can guess and check up to six different times before we got the right answer. And by that point, you're probably getting a hole in your paper from erasing. So the better way to do this is the x box. Now we have been using the x, but we know that this number introduced is going to mess up everything. We know that it's going to be multiplied through and change our factors. So what we do is we multiply the first and the last one together. Introduce it right away and we're going to get 36x squared. All right, this is just so that we can get our new factors, okay? So, we still have 13 here in the bottom, 13x. We're looking for new factors that multiply to get 36 and add to get 13. Oh, that's right, 9x and 4x. Multiply to get 36, add to get 13. Beautiful. All right then. The only reason why we use this x is so that we can get our new factors. Now we're going to go backwards, use the box, fill in your area first. Your area is what we started with. So first term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box, and we know that these guys are going to add up to 13x, which we just said was 9x and 4x. And it doesn't matter whether you put your factors here, your 9x here or here. You'll get the same answer. Okay. Now remember, we're trying to find what did we multiply together to get this. And so now we're going to do the greatest common factor of each row and each column. So check out the first row. They both can be divided by an x, and they both have a 2 in common. Okay, greatest common factor of this row. What do they have in common? A uh, 3. Greatest common factor of this column. Well, they both have an x and they both divide by 3. And the greatest common factor here would be 2. So that means this is what we multiply together, right? We can see that this works. These are the things that we multiply together to get our area. So that means our factors are 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. This is what we multiply together to get what we started with. And remember, you know you love math.